Hello and welcome back. Moving on to another S3 feature. In this lesson, we're going to talk specifically about object versioning. So let's click on that and let's learn about it. So S3 versioning is a feature to manage and store all old, new, and deleted versions of an object. By default, versioning is disabled on all buckets and objects. Once versioning is enabled, you can only suspend versioning. It cannot be fully disabled. Suspending versioning only prevents new versions from being created. All objects with existing versions will maintain their older versions. Versioning can only be set on the bucket level and applies to all objects in the bucket, meaning that you cannot have versioning turned on just for specific objects within a bucket and not others. Lifecycle policies can be applied to specific versions on a bucket, so it's important to understand that both versioning and lifecycle policies can both be enabled on a bucket at the same time. And working together, versioning can be used with lifecycle policies to create a great archiving and backup solution for S3. So with that said, how does versioning actually work and how do we enable and use it here in the AWS console? Well, let's click on our bucket, Orion Papers, and then what we want to do is go to Properties. Here, the first thing that we see is versioning. So currently, versioning is suspended. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn versioning on and click Save. Now I'm going to go back to my objects. And what we have here is just one version of this particular file. So that particular file is this right here. This is the current contents of this file. So it just says version one sample text file for S3. So now let's add to this. Let's type in version two more text has been added. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to save this and we'll switch back over to our AWS console. So now let's watch what happens when I upload this file again. So same file, same name. It's just now an updated version of this file. So let's go ahead and upload add files, select the file there. And I see here that version two, the more data has been added. Next, next. Now it asks me again, what storage class? Cause I can actually have different versions in different storage class. So I will store this in standard and then click upload. We now see that this has been switched. The storage class has been switched to standard. The size has increased because actually more data in the particular object. But now if I click on the file, you will notice that first I now actually do have a version ID. And then up top here, you see a small drop down that says latest version. So I can then see the two separate versions of this file. I see the one that is currently stored in standard and frequent access, which I uploaded earlier today. And then the one that I just uploaded, which is in standard. Now I can download or delete either one of them. Now, if I were to do this again, make a third change to the file and upload that, I would then have three files here. Now, what's great about versioning is that I can then do whatever I wish with these particular versions. If I delete the current version, then it will default to the previous version and that will become the default current version. I can also set lifecycle policies to specific versions where if I have a current version that I want to keep in standard, but maybe I have older versions that I want to archive and send to S3. So what I can do is I can just select to have older versions of a file sent to S3 while keeping the current or the latest version in something like the standard storage class. So also what you want to do when you have versioning is some of your older versions you may want to store in reduced redundancy or in standard and frequent access to help reduce the cost of using S3. So now I could always go back to my bucket back to properties to versioning and I can suspend versioning. Now what happens when I suspend versioning is that I will still have access to all current and past versions of an object. So I still have the latest version and I still have my previous version, but I will not be able to create any new versions going forward as long as versioning has been suspended. So if I were to upload another version of this particular file right now, it wouldn't create a third option. It would just replace the latest version with the one that I uploaded. So again, S3 versioning is a great feature to help you manage and store all of your old and current versions of a particular file and is great for backup solutions, especially when used with life cycles if you are transitioning older versions of a file into other storage classes, such as infrequent access or Glacier to help reduce costs. And with that, we will conclude this lesson. Thank you for watching. You may now move on.